Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to implement a very common platforming mechanic, the double jump. And what we're going to be using as a template is the platformer provided. And then we're going to go to the event sheet, because that's where everything is managed here. I'm going to add a group, call it simply double jump. Don't need a description because it's kind of self-explanatory. What we're going to need is a couple sub-events. The first one is the players on jump. This will fire on the very first jump of the player. So we need a sub-event and the player is on the floor. Um, we need an event for that. Okay. And then we need a third event to fire um, to allow the player to double jump. And this will be a keyboard event that when the up key is pressed, up arrow, alrighty, and that will cause the double jump. Now, before we go adding anything else, we need a variable that we will change to local later. We shall call this jump sequence. So this shows us how many jumps have been made by the player. And as a description, I just quickly add this, it indicates the number of times players jumped should always equal zero while on floor. And that's what this event will do is set the jump sequence to zero. Sort of a reset button. Now as a local variable we need to make sure that this is checkmarked as static because otherwise it will reset to its initial value at every step. And now we're going to add that little check. We're going to set the value of jump sequence to zero. So that's this little reset. We're going to copy this and add it to on jump and that will be the first jump. So this will fire on the very first jump and it will set the jump sequence to one because that's the number of times player has jumped at that point is only one. Now we also need two more conditions in addition to the keyboard arrow, uh, up arrow event that when the jump sequence is equal to one because this will be the double jump. So I'm going to compare the variable jump sequence if it is equal to one. So the player has jumped one time. Now we need one last condition and that is the player platform is on, uh, oh, sorry, not, not, not on the floor, but let's invert that. So that way, anytime they are not on the floor. Now we are finally going to add the actual jump of the player. And what we're going to be doing is setting its vector Y. Now this will work to propel the player up. And in this case, that would be a negative value because the zero, zero point would be right here. Now this is positive x, this is positive y. So to go up, we would need to have a negative vector. Now what I have done here is made the double jump a portion, a portion of the player's current jump strength. So basically what we're going to do is now the double jump is going to be about 75% of the player's jump strength. I like setting it as a portion of a variable or constant, whatever you want to call it, of a variable that already exists because that way you don't have to hard code in the vector. Let's say you make, want to make it 1,000 because the you set the player's jump strength to 2,000. Well, with this, you can always have it set as a portion of it rather than trying to hard code it in here and having to go back and change it every time you can determine the actual percentage of the player's original jump strength. And setting it to three quarters seems about right. And then after this, we need to increment the jump sequence. So we're going to add one to this. And so that would become a double jump because it would then be two. You would not be able to jump anymore because the jump sequence will only fire at one. And then once you land back on the floor, you have officially jumped zero times as set by the jump sequence then you can then you can fire everything again after you jumped the first time and it starts this all over again now we just need to test this out and let's show you if it works there we go we get one jump let's see if we can make it multiple times and no we cannot so that is a good thing 
jump, 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 jump. And there you have it. That is the official double jump. And as you can see, the code we already have prevents you from being able to jump after simply falling off objects. See? That's also something very handy to have. And that is the basic tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be adding a few more tutorials on platforming mechanics that you can add to your games to spice them up a little. Um, you may also find ways to make the double jumping mechanic better, or make it, say, a power up only, or as a, for instance, for instance here, you could have something that sets this, that this is actually a global variable, and you could increase the report the double jumps power by having the um, you would set it to 0.75 the local variable would be the jump strength uh, say modifier but you could increase that by let's say 0.01 percent every time the player gets X and Y power-ups so little things like that can kind of spice up the game but this is it for now I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and I will see you again